Hey YouTube, Tom here, hanging out, uh, hanging out on the deck today. I actually uh, had my laptop out here earlier getting some work wrapped up, so caught up on the work, uh, caught up on the yard work, so uh, it's kind of lazy time now. Uh, for housekeeping, I am smoking Dunhill Mixture uh, 965. Um, and I'm smoking that in my Winslow, my new Winslow pipe. This one's been kind of, kind of made its way to the top in my pipe rotation. I really like that bulldog style. I enjoying, enjoying the pipe and the tobacco. So I use my trusty Dunhill lighter. Oh, figured. I'll do a uh, a quick review on the uh, Dunhill Mixture 965. Hi, um, of course, you guys that follow me on YouTube know that uh, my daily go-to end of the day blend has always been the uh, Dunhill Nightcap, which um, if you watched my video late last night, that's what I was smoking. Mm. This is uh, this mixture is made by Orlick for Dunhill, and. Yes, being outside means dog barking. What a pain in the ass. Stop. Coco, so we'll hear that annoying barking. Uh, this originally was, prior to Orlick uh, blending it, it was done by Murray's and Sons out of, out of the UK. Um, it's a Cavendish, uh, see, a lot of Kia and Orientals in it. and it's a ribbon cut so it's good stuff I would say the strength meter is probably medium to strong it's got a real sweet and uh, nutty flavor to it I had um, everybody kept telling me I should try this when they found out that I liked the nightcap and it, it is good I'll tell you though it reminds me of um, early morning pipe if I had to compare it to one of the other uh, Dunhill blends and it's got a sort of mild sweet little nutty flavor. I was picking up some, uh, I was getting some hints of coffee from it. It's like espresso, a mild espresso. Uh, when I, just uh, breathing it through my nose as I was carrying the pipe. And uh, smokes very cool. Uh, there's no bite. Uh, it's burnt, burns very well. I don't know if you can see, I guess you can see that. It's got a nice gray ash going. And the, uh, I did say it was a ribbon cut. Oh, real nice, real nice consistency. Of course, you hear the birds chirping outside. So, great day for just to relax and smoke a uh, really, really, uh, really good pipe tobacco. I don't know how annoying the dog barking is going to be, Coco. So, I don't know if I'll even edit it out. I'll probably just leave it. It's part of nature, so. You hear dogs barking all the time. Heard ice cream man rolling through a minute ago. Almost took off after him, but one, I don't need the ice cream. Basically because I was too lazy to chase the ice cream truck. So that just kind of goes to show just how out of shape I am. Last night I'd mentioned that um, I uh, mowed my yard yesterday and I used a push mower and man, it just, it kicked my ass. I was just worthless the rest of the day. Martin, a uh, flanker tinker. I missed your Skype earlier. I went back on and then you were gone. I was actually on a Skype with uh, Joe Case. Uh, we were talking about the stems for my pipe. He showed me uh, the stem that he picked out for mine and we're supposed to meet up either later today or sometime tomorrow to pick my pipe up. So I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, I think he thinks I was being a pest and I was probably pestering a little bit. I'm probably the worst person to commission somebody to make a pipe because I am an, an impatient impulse buyer. So um, I did apologize for that. But I was joking around on when I told him he needed to get his, his shop dirty again, making some damn pipes. So I hope he didn't take that personally, but but that's where I was at when you tried to Skype me earlier. So uh, I'll probably be back on here in a few minutes. I've been, oh, listening to some of the talk sh radio. You know, if you're a sports fan, of course, for the Tennessee Titans, they're trying to get Peyton Manning here. So um, of course, that's the big news. And 
kind of torn. I, being from Tennessee, and you know, I following UT growing up, I just I was a fan of him when he was there, but not when he went to the Colts. And of course, there's a lot of fans here in Tennessee that still love him. And he's a good quarterback, so it'd be pretty cool to see if we end up getting him. Uh, could make us a lot more competitive, but I think our future lies with uh, Jake Locker. I'm looking forward to seeing him play. But of course, listening to the radio, trying to find out what's going on, kind of torn. I can go either way. Uh, if we get him, hey, that's great. If we don't, hey, the, like I said, the future is Jake Locker. So interested and excited about that. I know a lot of you guys aren't uh, sports fans, and probably a lot of you aren't Tennessee Titans sports fans, so I won't bore you with too much of that. So, definitely the Dunhill Mixture 965. If you haven't had it, definitely pick some up. It's a really good, really good. So I would say it's a perfectly balanced blend. If you like uh, early morning pipe, it's really, really, really similar to that. I think the the nothing really stands out, so that's why it makes me say it's a balanced blend. You don't just get hit with the a lot of Kia or uh, or the Orientals. It's uh, but it's not a sweet uh, smoke. When I say sweet, not like a, I wouldn't compare it to a Frog Morton blend or anything like that. But very good with a cup of coffee. I was uh, going to do uh, my review from my car. I was at the had to run some errands earlier. Had the top down. Had my camera with me. I thought. I'll do that, but the wind was just blowing too hard and trying to do a video uh, pipe tobacco review in a convertible just doesn't work out well. So I should be doing a box opening tomorrow. Uh, a couple of you at PM me and said I had some packages on the way. I uh, sent a few packages out. One went to Canada, so. I'm not going to say who it's going to because I try to surprise everybody with uh, uh, boxes that I sent out this week or last week. I had uh, saw a couple of the Yabos pop up where I sent those out. They didn't know they were coming, so I kind of like doing it that way. It makes it a little more fun. But that's about it for me. I'm still in the fold if you guys thought I was gone after you saw me missing for a full day. I know I was kind of th cranking out some videos for a while there, but I'm still around. I ain't going anywhere. But, uh, man, I don't know what smokes better, if it's this pipe tobacco or the pipe itself. But, good stuff, good stuff. So as you can see, we're having a beautiful day, so I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to probably fire up the grill here in a little while and cook a couple, throw a couple of baked potatoes in the oven and uh, probably throw a steak on the grill. That sounds good to finish off this beautiful day. So with that said, I'm going to wrap this up and sit here and finish this pipe. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you around on YouTube.